The Leo King will be live shortly. Please hold on while the collective consciousness loads, and thank you for being a part of the Leo King. The Leo King will be live shortly. Please hold on while the collective consciousness loads, and thank you for being a part of the Leo Kingdom. The Leo King will be live shortly. Please hold on while the collective consciousness loads, and thank you for being a part of the Leo Kingdom. The Leo King will be live shortly. Please hold on while the collective consciousness loads, and thank you for being a part of the Leo Kingdom. The Leo King will be live shortly. Please hold on while the collective consciousness loads, and thank you for being a part of the Leo Kingdom. Yo, what's going on everyone? Uh, David Palmer Lee, Leo King here. I'm here with Kim Tabay. Hello everyone, welcome. If y'all didn't know, Kim has this awesome show here on High Vibe TV, The Art of Life. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the show? There is an art to life. Um, it is actually inspired by one of my heroes, Bob Ross. Hmm. Um, he was one of the first programming I ever saw anyone capture, and, you know, and create with painting. I always was fascinated with painting. Um, painting actually wasn't accessible to me, but I, at least I was able to watch it. And yeah. yeah, and for me, this is a great way to get other people um, to really get involved in the things that they always wanted to do. I, uh, every time I have a student, they would say, I've always wanted to paint. And yeah. I know like, you know, traditionally painting is no longer in, you know, schools either so a lot of us I know. didn't really have and we kind of learned off like water paint yeah like not saying that's not art because everything's art but we were just kind of like thrown with some crayons and mm -hmm. here's some water-based paint and just yeah more like coloring book stuff yeah so there's even an those are kind of gone yeah well now there's like all these uh adult coloring books that came back um but you know that's why this is great. You know, the last five years, that paint night and paint yeah. and wine have really hit the scene, and it, it really shows how many people really want this in their life. And I think art Definitely. is just as important as exercise, eating right. Um, it really, you know, puts you in a space to sit with yourself and manifest and kind of just let trans, you know, colors translate your mood. Well, speaking of mood. Well, before we go into that, I just want to let everybody know that uh, today I'm going to live paint with Kim, follow her instruction. We're going to do a painting together. Together. But coming into this today, I have not had the best of days. So I'm using this as a very therapeutic aspect. But then I was thinking, for the last couple of days, we've been talking about this for a week or two, and actually we had brought it up like a month or two ago. So actually it's like been a long, gradual process to get to this point. And if I look at my life over the last, I'd say, two months, per se, maybe three, it's been pretty extreme and changing. And um, there's been some highs, but I've been going through more lows. But I always feel that when I look at my past, whenever I went through a lot of my more lows in my life, I always did express myself through art and I did draw. I showed you some of my drawings. Even when I went through an outpatient program, they had us draw. Mm -hmm. I don't show anybody those. <laughs> <Are they? laughs> not fun to show somebody because it's not a mental hospital, but it is in a way, right? <laughs> like, but when you say that term mental hospital, people think like, you're fucking crazy, huh? <laughs> but like, yeah, no, I was in a mental hospital drawing pictures just four years ago, exactly right now. But that's what's so really important. So, about um, this. It's a language, right? In which maybe we didn't have the words for it. Yeah. And so that's what's really great about this type of expression. And I just want to say that, you know, coming into this today for everybody, like Kim's show is amazing because if you go on High Vibe, I mean, she really starts at square one, what to get, how to do it, like efficiently, like it really is not like a huge hindrance to do this. 
Yeah. Like the hindrance is within yourself. Within yourself, 100. And, um, but, you know, Bob Ross was great and I've seen YouTube videos. I remember some stuff on TV, but you know, this is a new age. It's a new time. And, you know, just looking at your art, like right here, this was your first piece, right? One of the first. Yeah. Yes. And on a glass window. nobody's allowed to buy it from her. <laughs> Because I, I would buy it, but because um, I think it's just so right badass. Thank but I you. think that she should keep it because it is her big first piece. It and I, I just believe that, uh, you know, a lot of the art that's kind of out there, the contemporary and everything, I think we're in this new age, this new time. And you're embodying that so much. Thank and I think that... Um, Whatever comes out, what co comes out. And I think not thinking in terms, it's like classical music and how people become very classically trained and stick to that and then go off and kind of do abstract. And then it's mm -hmm. like, oh wow, this is cool. In the art world, there seems to also be that, right? Like, oh, this is kind of. Yeah, because there's always like a base, right? And we're always, inspir inspiration's always transcends right. in one way, shape, or form. And I think like in a lot of my art, I, I want to celebrate that. Yeah. And celebrate the pieces in which like I've taken into my own life and was right. like, like cooking, you know, it's like, ooh, I love that spice, but I'm not going to make Thai food. I'm going to make what I feel, but use a little element of that to mm -hmm. translate and celebrate something that made me go, ooh, what was that? You know? Yeah. And it's yeah. a spiritual practice and I feel... One of the craziest forms of art I ever saw was on the Snake River in Idaho. My step-grandfather, God rest his soul, he uh, took us off and we walked on this trail and we went into this cave and he goes, yeah, up here in Idaho, there, there, there's no tourism, there's no anything. Like we were just way off in the middle of nowhere. And I walked in this cave and there was all this old Native American wow. artwork in the caves that has not been touched for hundreds and hundreds of years. Some of it was dated a thousand years back. And so I was like, whoa. And they're so expressive, or I think of the Egyptians and the hieroglyphics mm -hmm. and how we speak through this language. And I feel, uh, you know, we're coming back to speaking through languages like that. Even like how funny you dropped this, like the jewelry we wear, the clothes we wear, there's this yeah. defining of what our moods are, what we're going through and our expression. And I feel that this is the greatest form. So I just want to remind people that like, uh, today I'm going to let it all out. Surrender and trust the process because you are here with friends and that's what this whole thing is about and that like you said you know I want to make the creative space feel as welcoming as possible so we could just get down to the creating part of it not like yeah. you said like not the jewelry like oh I would need the best brushes or I need the best paint no you need the will to just sit down and create yeah, most yeah. of my art is on a piece of paper and a pen. Easy breezy. Like, and people were like, wow, that's so cool. And I'm like, if you only knew what I was going through. <laughs> <laughs> but so, uh, why don't you uh, help yeah. me, help me. Let's I'm going to just be like, you're my guide. I am your guide. So what's really exciting about this process and, you know, me knowing you and thinking of the spaces in which we've both been really trying to transition into. It's been rough. It's been a rough I know. few months. But look it, we're here. We're here in a space of intention, in a space among like friends with good vibes. And I think that's, um, you don't have to have the space of like, I need to be positive. Right. You just need to be and accept what you have. And that's what I love with, like, with art. It's whatever you have. Yeah. You know, you got to get out of, oh, well, it's not going to happen until this, or I'm not going to be happy until I have this, or it won't be perfect. There's no, no such thing as perfection. Um, art and paint is forgiving. And the way that I planned out this painting, which was also surrendering to the fact that you and I are going to create something based on go just going back and forth. Right. You know, um, I started un unconventionally with a, a black canvas which has been really hard to kind of figure out how it plays, but I feel like it's just so symbolic of, you know, what, why I love the show, There is an Art to Life. It's more mm. about the process than it is what it's going to become. 
I know, and it was funny seeing this because I already told you I like to draw dark things. Yes, yes. And then I was expecting a lot of white to go dark with, and now I'm like, mm. oh, I'm showing up and it's a dark canvas and I have yeah. to go light. I'm like, ah! <laughs> We're working our way yeah, it's, no, out it's of beautiful. the darkness. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna use the dark to frame the light. That's how I, yeah. negative space works, right? Instead of obsessing with, oh my God, this feels so deep and dark. It's trying to look outside of that and be like, wait, what is that actually framing for me? What is it actually saying? And mm. this is not it. It's yeah. this. And at the end of the day, you're, you're the one who's behind the creation. And I think I that's why I want people to experience the process of it. Because look, right now, this is just blank. And right. what's gonna happen is something beautiful. And just like you do with astrology and all your shows, you're just giving people the tools to find a way to celebrate and empower their own personal lives. So that's what I want to incorporate mm. throughout this segment. And just trust and flow. There's gonna be a lot of technique and this is gonna be really different than the usual programming that we have because this is more about a collaboration. Yeah. And more about like you enjoying even the application of a color that resonates with you. Perfect. So are you ready? I'm always ready. All right. I mean, you yes. know, before then, I think we should just, will you give me your hands, Kim? Yes. Oh my God. I was thinking the same exact thing. Were you thinking I told it? Was. I just okay. want to say thank you. And I have so much gratitude for you thank being you. here. And I think that together, collectively, and with everybody that is watching now live and that will watch this, that we're sending our love, our compassion, and the, um, the key to unlocking the openness to allow yourself individually and for all of us to open ourselves up to expression that heals us and yes. takes us to better places. Yes. Thank you. No problem. Thank you for that. Yeah, I, I love felt, that. Because yeah. we do. We have to set, you know. I think setting an intention. Setting an intention when you're It's a big deal, yeah. And that's why I also tell a lot of people, you know, I paint late at night when my kids are asleep and now the house isn't wrestling and loud. I paint when everybody else is quiet so that I could hear my thoughts and I could create that vibe. Yeah. So like you said, you know, we did, we did have a discussion about art and yeah. how you resonate with dark colors. So do I, I always wear black, but I I'm do- I'm in all black. I even yes. wore boots today. And he, has, he has actually the coolest boots on, by the way. Cool I'm very boots. jealous <laughs> of his I can boots. really get it up, but yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing tight pants too. Yeah. So I feel like, I, I understand what women do. I wear tight pants, like, you know, so did George Washington, but like, yeah. Styling them, but, and yeah. profiling. I'm wearing boots today. Yes. Okay, so what I always like to do before I get started, I'm like you, you and your, your other art, it's, everything is about symmetry. Uh -huh. So when I imagine the center of my canvas, I imagine the center of who I am. Okay, all right. And it's about balance, okay? I like to treat everything on here about balance. So whatever I do above, I make sure a little bit of that is below. Hmm. So that there is this ongoing balance that's happening within the canvas. Gotcha. Okay. So right now we're going to find our center and I already kind of did that. I see that. Bit. So that is our center and I'm going to make a mark first mm -hmm. and I want you to fill that in. All right. Okay. So we're going to start off with this and I want you to notice that um, when I'm painting, I always dilute it. I don't go for that big punch. Pop, yeah. We build slowly. This is where you're, um, you'll find that it has to, you have to build a lot of patience for these parts. You don't one night stand it. No, you don't leave them all your goodies. <laughs> you just little samples, samples, right? We're not committing. We're just dabbling. Okay. So <laughs> just, you're, just, you're just rubbing. <laughs> <laughs> you just rub it on the outside, on the outside. <laughs> I forgot what that's called. Oh, it's called dry humping. Dry humping. <laughs> we gonna dry hump this baby. Yes. Dry, some of the some of the best dry some some dry humping is better than better the than real nothing. deal. Is because it, it's about connection. Yeah, and then you walk away not feeling all sad about it. <laughs> well, guys, we fill up with something called um, blue balls. Yeah. So, are we painting a blue ball in the middle? Yes, we are. <laughs> Speaking of, so see how I pushed down with my brush. We're going to, you're going to fill that up. Okay. Right in the center. 
Take a deep breath. And then <sighs> apply. Yeah, go for it. There's a little bit mm. of here. Take this. Okay. You're going to start slowly. You could go right in the and middle. And do I just pick the color? Oh, no. We're going to go white first. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got it. And just a little like that and yep. kind of dab it like that. Uh -huh. okay. And then... I would start in the center oh, okay. first. And just like... And then work your way to the edge. Like like that? Yeah. So see how you have all that paint? We're going to use all of that. There you go. And don't forget to breathe. You know, when I got my first camera, the... The guy, this is back when, remember, you had to go to a film a place to get your film developed, like 24 hour photo or yeah, whatever. Like Ritz? Yeah, the, the, the guy there was like, I looked at your pictures. I'm like, yeah. And he goes, they suck. <laughs> and I was like 12 or something. And I'm like, what? No. And he goes, you were not breathing, or, or you did not stop to take your breath mm, and stop breathing yeah. while you were taking the picture. Yeah. I was like, what? He goes, you were breathing while you were taking yeah. the picture. You're like, that. That's so funny because when I take photos also, it is a, and you have to, you take the picture on your release, not on your right. holding. But the same thing with this. And I think that's why the practice of art really gets us to that space of allowing yourself to be present without holding on tight, right? Yeah, I'm already starting to channel what this is going to be. And so you kind of go back and can you flip it like that? Like, and what do you do about like the lines? Do you just kind of? We're just going to let it live because this is just the first layer. Got you. Yeah. So now I can so take a little bit of control like there that. There you go. See? And not be afraid and just, you know what I mean? And kind of fill in. Yes. Okay. You know what you're doing? Do I? Yes. Look I hope that. so. All right. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I want you to choose one of the darker colors. Which one resonates with you the most? So for the center of this. For the I mean, very, for the edge. My gut has it's continued to do that. Yep. We're That's, not going to get there. I know, we're not, we're not going get to. Because you have to work your way through the dark. That makes sense. And it was funny because something was like, no. Mm -hmm. You want to go for the black? Yeah. Start with the edge? Let's do it. Mm hmm. I'm, I'm, I was just like, I know we're going there, we're going but going there, but we're gonna work our way there, right? Levels. 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 Like there are many level. levels of life. Yes. So we're work. I feel like through. I'm at. I think we're all at a level. Yes. Shift. So we're gonna come from the edge and go down. Okay. Okay. We are and go at a level down shift. all the way. Not or? all the way. I'll show you. I'm gonna paint with you this layer so where do i go just so you see how i'm going like this okay you see how i'm just hitting that edge and right. feathering out so we're just making a frame oh i see we're going to use all of this too so see how i'm just letting it feather there we go and really get to that edge because we're what we're going to do now is create a gradient that goes from dark to light i see we're gonna do that all around, even on the okay. bottom. But yeah, I was gonna say, like, you know, in Mario, like, it's like level one, mm -hmm. three, level one, four, and then you get to King Koopa, you know, at the end. Koopa, yeah. Koopa. Koopa, Koopa. I knew what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, anyway, I feel like we're all at Koopa right now. Yeah. And. I always got frustrated with Koopa because you always have to deal with more fire stuff and those turtles that you cannot smash. You can only let them bounce. Let them bounce, yeah. or you have to jump over them because they have a, a, a big thorn sticking out. Mm -hmm. Right? Do you ever like take the paint from? Yes. Okay. Yeah. See, you know what you're doing. All right. I always tell people you don't need to keep on scooping up. Use what you have. Okay. Use. The moon and Taurus likes to have a lot. I know. Um, There's more right here if you want to bring up more. Okay. No, oh, I'm still taking from you. Yeah, do it. So it's kind of a little bit com communism in here too. <laughs> I like it. All right. 
So see where this meets? Right. Right here. We're gonna start with this next beautiful color right on top of it, and we're gonna let them mix. Okay. Okay, let me rinse off your brush so we're not picking up any of that black. So we can start with this freshly. So Koopa also upset me too a lot because he jumps around. Yeah, and then he has those fireballs. Too. And he has those fireballs and he backs up right when you think he's going forward. Mm-hmm. And you always have to do that like extra like hold down to run and, then and, and jump. jump. Yep. And I feel like there's a lot of that that's been going on to get through the next level. Yeah, it's tricky. It's been really tricky. We're gonna do the same thing, but kind of layering it? Yeah, we're gonna overlay on it. Okay. Like kind of lighter maybe, or? Yeah, so we're, now we're mixing them. So we're using the darkness. Okay. We're gonna mix it. We're gonna do the same thing all around. I see, I kind of, I don't think there's any mess ups, but there I should have no kept black up there. Because we could come back. Yeah, we can come back. And then, you know, these kids today, I don't play video games anymore as much, or I really haven't in a long time, but like, you know, they get like endless lives. Remember, you had to go in there fucking like, I have two lives, so if I fuck this one up, yeah. the game's over. And there's no such thing as a memory card to save. Mm -hmm. I remember walking, Nintendo came out in like 89, and I was five. And my dad bought it, my mom for me, or Santa bought it, whatever. And it was in the guest room. And guess what? I remember waking up one night at three in the morning or one in the morning or something. And there are my parents screaming at the game, playing Dang it, it <laughs> laughing, drinking wine, and having a blast. And I was like, wow. And then my dad would keep it on pause for like three days. He'd go to work and there'd be like a note on the TV like, do not touch the system. <laughs> and I feel like we're all kind of in that weird pause. I want to do this right. Yeah, trying to take a breath. But not also, but also wanting to do it. But also, you can't be afraid to go face Koopa now. Yeah, because he's there. So people got to unpause. Paintings like that, that's what I'm trying to get at. It's like a lot of people keep it on pause. Mm -hmm. They get all the way, get all the gear, everything. Yeah. And then they just don't. They kind of or they start it and they're like, oh my god, this is a hot mess. I suck at this. Right. And they don't go all the way through. Mm -hmm. But like my, you know, way of sh telling people is like, well, you don't make a lasagna and then take it out in 15 minutes and expect to have a cooked lasagna. Like, you gotta, you gotta see it through. You gotta let it right. do its thing, you know? And there is, there's a bit of like humbleness that happens right. when it comes to painting and creating. But everything in life, there's a humbleness. Yeah. That's what I wanna, want people to interpret. Well, that's why you but, just get Stouffer's and put it in the <laughs> oven. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> put in the I'm so like, born in the 80s. Like, you're ready? Stouffer's. You are a Stouffer's kid. I am a Stouffer's kid. Okay, so now we're going to embrace. Do I rinse this? I'm gonna rinse it for you. And now you're gonna overlay. Look at you, you're there. even like handing me. That's right. So do I go in or do I overlay on that? This is what's gonna happen. We're gonna let this color live because you love it so much. So, so we're gonna let it be. We're gonna let it go to the side. I see, and I then see. we'll come in to mix it up. I see, I gotcha. Okay. Look how pretty this is. But see how if I feather it on top? Right. Look how pretty that blend is now. Yeah, I see what you mean. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Like, they... So now we're I creating see. that vignette. So, with the feathering, it's pretty, like... It helps with that smooth transition, right? Yep. I see. I guess I, I, I tend to put... I go pretty hard, pretty fast, so... Less paint is better for feathering. I feel because mm -hmm. it's harder to if you have so much now you're spreading and now you have to feather too far. Mm-hmm. I see. But if you go too far, you could always correct that later. I see. So everything, think of it like water. 
Uh, it mixes and you could go back and forth. I see. Yes, really pretty blend right there. Very nice. And then I can almost take this and kind of... Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're a feather queen, like... Feathering's not easy. It's not. It's about a like it flick of the like... wrist, though. And using the very tip. Just the tip, it does count. Sorry, my mind is a very dirty mind, so just the tip, it okay. Counts. Heard that one before. But see how there's this like hard transition right here? You could take some of that blue and then feather it down. Oh, I see. So like, now you see that transition. So uh, we're using everything. Yep. I see. Very pretty. Here, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna start filling right here also. I see. I feel like we're building Atlantis. It feels like water. Yeah, the fall of Atlantis, but did it really fall? Yeah, so now we're gonna emphasize these long horizontal strokes. Look how pretty this is. Wow, oh, you are just like, making me look like I'm but you don't truly do amateur. This? Like. Well, I hope so, because I've been doing this for a while. I know. What's funny, people will be like, oh yeah, like, I'll, well, I'll be like, oh, you know about your astrology, like, come on, like, just move the just move the planets in your head right now. Like, come on, do this and then yeah, and you I, see it so quickly. And then I'm like, then they go, wait, oh, and then I'm like, how did I not get it? And I'm like, yeah, oh, well, yeah, never mind. I understand now. Yeah. I'm. Uh, oh my gosh, like I'm like. Well, also, yeah. The, oh man, I see. Like see here, I'm gonna give you this. I now, guess it also is me. I'm kind of bold and blah. Yeah. Now come from here and now overlap this a little bit with this, the darker blue again. Let's see. So see how this tr translated right here? You know, I same see. thing from that edge. Really per A. Look at that. I see. So you drew a lot when you were a kid? Were you yeah, like, I was much more of a drawer. I was too, when I was younger. And then I would fill in with crayon later. Yeah. But I would do like, just like a black pen or a blue pen and a white page and just draw sharp lines and then kind of paint in, in and after. Yeah. Here, we give you more of that blue. But I think that's a little bit of control kind of frenzy. I have a control thing mm -hmm. that I have to battle this life with things. Not people, but my own shit. Yeah. And, um. Look how pretty that is. I love that. Yeah, now I'm kind of getting the whole feather thing. Nice. A little bit. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get too confident yet. Yeah, a lot, I think a lot of us have a problem with control. trying to control. You know, but that space of creating art, you're just like, okay, this is harmless, but it does force you to be patient. It does force you to trust a process. I love that. Yeah, I'm kind of now just There's like. A lot of magic happening here. Fill this up for you some more. This is really pretty. One of my favorite colors. I'm just using all the paint that's here. Do it. So I'm gonna come over here and apply a little bit more of this blue down here so we could so there's a balance. Okay. I'm gonna connect these two sides together like this. Oops, sorry. Mm, oh my God. What is it? Cling rings. Cling rings.
Well, it's interesting too, because we have a lot of light on this. Yeah. It's almost easier with like, like a little darker light in life, right? To paint maybe? Yeah, I actually really do. I paint with dim light. Yeah, I mean, I would so imagine nice like it. Leonardo da Vinci when he did The Last yeah, Supper. It's like all candle Anna, lit. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been badass to hang out with him at like four in the morning. Right. You know. I don't think you, maybe you'd want to yeah. talk. We don't know. But, you know, Fly maybe there's wall. painters that like to talk and then ones that are like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't talk to me. Well, that's like with my, you know, having a kid. When I get into the zone, I don't want to be bothered. I'll be like this. I'm like, mom, and I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. Can I have this? Can I do that? Like, leave me alone. But that's, again, that's why. What's the chat room up to? I paint late at night. So I'm gonna fill this with purple. How do you feel about purple? I love purple. Let's do it. I do too. Purple be... is one of my favorite colors. That's why my hair is that color. Like, I love purple. Let's do it. We'll celebrate the color purple. So this is just the back layer. And then we're gonna get to the good stuff. Oh yeah, we got a lot of people in here. Hello everyone. Look at that perps. You know, let it live. So what happens with the dark canvas, we have to lay down a lot of the background first and then um Was that a black canvas, that painting? This one? Yes, I did. I painted that one all black before. So we're gonna do this. And then That's really pretty right there. You're gonna really love that. Mm-hmm. But see how that blue wouldn't be able to stand to the front without yeah. that dark behind it. Yeah. All right. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna have you turn up the volume on this. Hey, that's what I do. That's right. Pump up the volume. Pump up the volume. Well, like no effects. Pump up the volume. Was, no effects? Yeah. I was more familiar with DOS effects. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, no, that's old. Mm hmm So do the same thing you did when we started. Look at that control. Don't forget to breathe. And it's this, you are the center. Yeah, it's like reiterate that center again. I see. Just like, you know, in life, we go off here, we go there, but then always come back to that space of that center. I'm, I'll be honest, I am not a very good centering person. Mm. The only way I center is while I do my horoscopes or my reading with a client or you don't my do videos, yourself, you do for I don't know how to center myself very well. And I will admit that. So I'm very, you know, somebody did call me chaotic in the last couple months. Mm. And, uh, did it hit you? Did that it, it hit me in a trigger? sense that they didn't appreciate the chaotic energy because I kind of feel like the universe is chaos and I'm just channeling the universe and mm -hmm. it's not a state of control that people think it is. Mm -hmm. But, you know, yeah, that, that's part of uh, some of my rejection issues in life. And I was like, really? Like, I was like, if you think this is chaotic, like, <laughs> so I was like, this ain't nothing. This ain't nada. Yeah, you know, it's like. Yeah. But we talked about that at After Dark, right? Like, it's a vibrational thing. Either people get it or they don't. It's true. You know, and I think that's how I've always dealt with rejection. Um, just trying to accept the fact that like, you know, my intentions and like this, my truth that I, we do intentionally live that intentional totally. life. So I feel like, oh wow, the universe must be protecting me or it must be telling me right. like this, that roadmap. 
right? Yeah, it's and like... they do it with people. You know, I think Craig and I were having this conversation about how intimate relationships really puts you in that space of trying hard to get past certain things and really seeing how much you're willing to compromise and seeing how other people show up to compromise. Yeah. And I always figure that if I come 100 and someone's coming like 70, at least my 108 was able to give me the view in which, oh, they're not, they're not moving just as fast. Or mm. They're not here with me or they're not seeing what right. I'm seeing. So therefore, like, I have to keep it moving. Okay, I am. Okay, so now we're going to, I want you to sit back and really see how this is moving. Gosh. There's a lot of things happening. So now we're gonna carve it out. We're gonna make this a path. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so we are going to, I'm gonna find our center again is what we're gonna create here. We're gonna make a place out of all this stuff. So this is 16, where are we? Wait. And just figuring out, we're gonna give a horizon line something to look forward to. Okay, and then we're going to bring this to here. Same thing on the other side. So this is kind of gritting it, basically. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna make this out of like our abstract energy. Right. Now we're gonna create something out of it. Right. We do the same thing on top here. Well, I'm not, I don't want to go through that because it's going to be our top sky, right? So we're going to go like this. What I love to do, just like you, you know, the mural that we did in the hallway. Yeah. Is to create depth in unbecoming spaces, right? We want to always take people with our energy, right? Like, it's a journey. That's why I like to always create things that do represent nature. All right, so there's that. And then, so since I know that you're so used to creating things that are very hard and bold, I want to invite more circular spaces here. So, we're gonna do is yeah, because I never did on. really do circles. <laughs> exactly. So we're gonna invite. I always did. Hard lines, hard, structure. Hard, hard, hard shit. Yep. We're gonna change that. We're gonna take. We're gonna use the hard lines. You can't get rid of structure, but now we're gonna soften ourselves within that, so we're not like mm. structure as well. Now it's time to let it flow within. I found this stuff in your stuff. Oh, it's all my jet ski stuff. <laughs> I know. All it's good. a tool. It's a tool now. It's all good. Let's see. It's got to be creative. So we're going to create a tunnel. There's one more. Now we're going to... Now this becomes our bottom. Mm -hmm. And that becomes our top. See if I could guesstimate where this is. And we're also, as we, as we notice, we are framing that light. I see. Okay. Yeah. So now the things that we do become more definitive. Okay? That makes sense. So here is a path that we're going to create. 
Um, I think we're going to do one more right here so we could really feel that. And this is where we become more structure. But let's go in one more time. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, here needs to be a low. We could do this, and then we're going to put trees in here too. Right? So it's a mixture of like, this is also, I want, you know, our readers and our um, listeners and everyone out there to understand even how line mm -hmm. and shape even like triggers things in our mind to welcome things more. Just like we said, right. heart like. Now we're going to become softer. Okay. So what I want you to do is. We're gonna light, we're gonna create a nice flat land here. Okay? So what we're gonna do is, since we started with dark, we're right. going to trickle in light, so that it gives us a space to then introduce other colors. Got you. Okay? So I'm gonna come in from here, and see how I'm emphasizing these long lines. Right. So this becomes so when pe our reader sees a line, it read they read it as it must be flat, it must be a road Got or you. land. Okay. So you're gonna just go like this, and you're gonna feather all along that line. And I'm gonna do it on this side. Yep. I use my hands too. Gotta get your hands dirty. Yep. And we're gonna go stay like I, I sit like this. Mm-hmm. Your um, dad is an artist. A right? uh, musician? Yeah. Oh, my stepdad. Your stepdad. Yeah, he's done a lot of different art. That's amazing. I know he told me all the things that he's done. Like he's done a lot of stuff. I think it's really rad that he um, gets to add science to his artistry because mm -hmm. that really gives you a space of building whatever your mind even. He did a lot of like um, air, air, uh, what's that called? Air? Aerodynamic? No, like stuff? air, like mm. air, no, it's like air gun, like nice. art, like. Psh. Airbrush? Airbrush. Yes. Two. That's right. And he grew up in LA, right? Yeah. In the hood. That's what he told me. He's a white guy. In the hood. <laughs> Right now, one more road. Because what's going to happen here? We're going to let this spill down. Right here. Like that. Cool. So, see how you're going like that this way? Now we're going to go straight. And I'm trying to create some openness, better feathering. You're doing good. Because we could come back like that. I see. So see how I did this second line? Right. Now we're going to go paint the fence, Daniel Sun. So see how it's like, spilling downwards? I see. And don't be scared to hit this next line. Should I just refill this with white? Oh, here. I forgot about filling up your brush. There you go, Try to hit that line. There you go. Now it's really spilling over. Sit back. Look what's happening. 
corn. Good job. how it's dark right here. Now I'm going to mm -hmm. add this and you can see what's happening here. I'm just going to let this trickle in. Let's see. Am I in the right angle? This way? See some magic happen in here? I do. Okay. Nice. So now we have this base. Now I'm gonna Now I can see the uh, the the path. The path. Right? We used the dark. We came now it's complete opposite with the light. And now we're gonna go back in and we're gonna reiterate that structure where we want it now. Right now that we've felt things around, right. we're able to really touch on everything and add all these the dynamics to it, and we're able to look at it. Now we're ready to commit to certain things on the canvas. Yeah, like I kind of want to do like a pyramid. Right in the like this. Yeah, <laughs> like a pyramid that it's going into. Yeah, you want to do that right at the end? We'll really yeah. emphasize this. Psh, psh, yeah, like and let everything like fall to the This is going it. into a, pyra a pyramid. Yeah, cool. Because I was gonna put. You want to do trees, or you want to just stick to the pyramid? I think we should go into a pyramid. Let's do it. Okay, let's reiterate this first. We're gonna come in and really commit to that structure, to this, to our foundation. Yeah, that makes yeah. Right. Then we're gonna. Right. So I'm going to give you a smaller brush. So you know how we've been coming in with the brush and using that, the wide side? Mm -hmm. We're going to come in with the razor side and mm. just really push and drag, okay? So there's the ish. Push so, and drag. And all yeah. the way up in here? Yes. That's going to become our horizon line. There you go. And don't forget to breathe. Yep, and just follow through. Don't even pick it up. Just drag it, because like even it'll even make its own mark. Yep. We do it. Here we do it again right here. Look at that, you got it the second time around. There you go. And then I'll do this side. And then I'm gonna let you do the whole horizon, okay? Are you sure about that one? Because my pyramid is gonna be weird. Yo, weird one? Yes, it is. Aren't they all? Aren't all pyramids a little weird? Well, because I, I have a theory when I channel so the pyramids like in Egypt Shh. because I have two past life regressions in Egypt. Really? One of them as the leading commander of armies. The other as the secret 
like magi behind the pharaohs and then I found out that the pharaohs were actually retarded like as far as their bloodlines like they really did not know anything and they relied on a secret magi behind them mm. to create and do all this stuff and they were just figureheads I shouldn't have said I'm the listening. word retarded but they were not they were using other people so where am I going again we're gonna the horizon line yep yourself. All the way? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you want to create that. Now, do you halfway sometimes you get more paint to do that, or is that a bad move? No, it's okay. You use the other side of it. I like it. So I'm going to go men. And we're actually going to now bring in some of these other colors again. Let's bring that blue. Yeah. Yeah. Almost looks like an ocean go? pouring down. Yeah. So we could either come from the outside in like this and feather this way or this way. Which color do you want to do? Which blue do you want to bring back? Want to try this? Yeah, I think we should add a little new color. Let's see what this looks like. In the front. And we're going to feather. We're going to bring that, yep, from this edge. From the edge in. In. Mm -hmm. Got you. You're going to feather it into the white. Look how pretty that is. And you can bring in some of these other blues too. If you want. But see how once we brought down that white, this blue's able to really stand out. Right. Oh, I like that. Blue. And we're gonna let that trickle also down, right? We're gonna create energy and movement. So I'm gonna just, you don't have to do it all the way. Did we enter Libra already fully? Yeah, done? big time. I have a feeling something. Yeah, the new moon's Saturday. Tomorrow is the buildup of that. We're in the dark moon, actually, as we're doing this right now. But so do you it's prepare? A release. Do you prepare for moons? Do you like set intentions? Do you, what is like yeah, the whole like ritual? Well, I mean, I usually do spiritual dance music. Mm. Um, and I channel that through music mainly and myself. I think it's kind of cool there's a little black in there, but. Yeah, because we're going to bring, we're going to bring all this stuff in. I feel like it's sometimes 
all this extra paint, right? Like, yeah. yeah. I like that you use everything that's on there, right? Instead of going back for more. Yeah, because I sometimes feel like it's easier. You want to use more? I think we should now bring back all these. Yeah. We'll weave, weave them all in, okay? And now I'm gonna kind of join the join the the sinistry of the other side right now with a little bit more of that blue like that to kind of bring some of that wall energy. So I'm bringing in all the colors, and then we're gonna bring back that teal too. The teal's gonna become the energy. See how it starts here? Right. I like that there's a draw of something that's going to then move things right. up. All right, I need one more of this blue. Let's bring this in to your side. So it has to be balanced. So a lot of my paint te technique is back and forth. So notice how we like came mm -hmm. back to the structure to remind ourselves, okay, what is this becoming? And then we come again, and then we come back again to reiterate that. Can you do a good job of showing lots of the color? really pretty right here. You see all this back and forth? Mm-hmm. I like it. One more of it. Yeah, it's got the, it's got its kind of unique to, it's similar but kind of different. So what I'm going to do up here is there's going to be kind of like a little bit different on that side and a little bit different on that side. So it kind of will, yeah. like, wait, whoa. It's or symmetry. like that, or you know what I mean? Yeah. Because that's why I like to do stuff like this, because it's not all uniform. Right. Okay, this one's loaded. Oh. Ready to go. I like a loaded gun. Mm-hmm. They do say a paintbrush can be a weapon. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna also let this spill from here to here. Sorry. Nice. All right, so this is actually now a really great place to frame your favorite color, right? This. Right. Everything's so dark. Okay. Now see this, we're gonna let it trickle. So there's gonna be like a movement from here mm -hmm. to here to here. I got so it's gonna yeah. go ch -ch -ch -ch. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna make some, uh, some sweat lines. <laughs> <laughs> Also like this, because we're gonna make it flat. Here, I'll show you. So you know, like in the hallway. So it's gonna start like this. Oh. Uh. And then go like, like a uh, ping pong. And then it bounces over here. Got you. So see how it's going. Mm-hmm. And then over That here. makes sense, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, oops, we're gonna make this as tight as we can because it's more in the distance, right? Yeah. 
see how that's working. We're gonna trickle in to for balance some of this. Just a tad, right? Like Just not a tad. too much, yeah. Because all the magic is actually in the center. Right. Right? But we don't want the eye to be like, okay, where did that blue come from? We have to yeah, give it like... a source. Do that. So now I want you to come in again with the black to reframe it. There we go. Now we're committing. I will commit to black. Yes. When I, I'm a roulette, I'm black more than red. Really? I miss playing roulette. Red fucks me all the time. So you're gonna start from your center, pull out, and I'll refill it for everyone. So, we're redoing the lines one more time? Mm -hmm. Got gotcha. you. All of them, yep. Doesn't that just feel different, Joe? Mm-hmm. That boldness, we're like committed to that color. Very nice. Let me refill it for you. Yeah. Nice line. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Let's go back for that horizon. It's funny, committing on lines, I'm not afraid of in life. Drawing that line? But filling in like... All the fluidy The phrases. fluidy thing, yeah. yeah. Like the, wish, the back and forth, yeah. To how I do my astrology, like, this is what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Watch it happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a gray... Gray area? Gray area person. To me, that's the gray, but that's the beauty of life, is the contrast, but then there are a lot of gray. Life is not all black and white. No, there's all the stuff in between. There's black, there's white, and then there's all this other magic. Um, right. But there has to be a definitive place. Yes. Like if I, the darkest color I put on here, I have to put something that is just as white mm -hmm. for it to feel balanced, to even celebrate the it's rest true. of yeah. the, all the in-between. Mm -hmm. Can't really be wishy-washy. So now, I think we're gonna put some trees down and then we're gonna really triangle this out for you. Yeah? Okay. Cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take white your, I'm gonna show you my side and then you're gonna do it your side, okay? Gotcha. So, the closest you are, the more defined it is, right? And the further you are, the smaller it gets. So uh -huh. what we're doing is creating shapes that are gonna be small and then the biggest, okay? Gotcha. So, we're gonna let this, down to the front here. And then we'll go this. I'm just gonna use that line that we already mm -hmm. put down. So these get wider, right? The closer mm. it gets to us. Because it's more in our view. In our line of sight. So as you're building these, you're calling them trees that come down right here, I see. Mm-hmm. It kind of creates a wall, right? Like in a way? Yeah. It does. 
But that's why like all the um, very loose things fall to the back though. So mm -hmm. it reminds us, yeah, there's structure here, but there are other things right, right. beyond our range of sight that do exist back here. Okay, so you're gonna do the same thing on your side. So you can, like the way that I line it up is I'll just right, go. Right, right. Yep. And then remember I hit the top of that line. Right. Mm-hmm. Very nice. But was that too far? No. No. Because there's no such thing as perfection in nature. There's right. all different sizes. Hmm. Good. Mm-hmm. Nice commitment. There you go. Mm -hmm. I think like maybe two inches from the edge. That one went. Yep. I got like little pregnant. Little bit. Now I'm gonna help Just sh like plant them. A month. In. Alien babies coming. Just a little baby. In the middle of the pyramid. Little baby bump, or it was like lunch. Alien babies in the middle of the pyramid, anybody? So. This is where the alien babies come from, so. <laughs> <laughs> we tapped in to it. We tapped in to the place where alien babies come. It, area 54. 54? Yeah. Is it 54? No, I'm thinking no, Studio 51. 54. <laughs> yeah. Alien it was where babies. Disco, disco aliens go to. Yeah, but with the name, well, we don't know. We don't know what the name of this place is yet. It's not being done. So, see how I'm planting these in now? More definitive. I see, I see. The little homies out over here. Yeah. Just like our feet, we have to commit and be planted. Mm -hmm. Okay, so wider on the bottom. And then all the way through. Look at that, we have movement. So now that we put that there. We're going to let some of this trickle. Can you see how that balance now? Right. I see now how it makes sense going. Mm-hmm. So it helps guide this. I like that shine in our sun there. A little mixture of both. Mm. And then that little trickle down. Just slightly, just to break that up. Trickle down theory works. It does. Just the tip of the brush. All right. How do you feel? Is there movement, energy? There's definitely movement and energy. Okay. If I see it coming out of the light there, yeah, that, yeah. So, this is up to you. Actually, this is what we're going to do. You see where all I put down all that white? Right. I want you to start from here and let this, the center of you, now trickle in. All right. So you're just going to feather in this. What do you think about reds and oranges? You want to go there or do you like this palette? 
Hmm. Let's see after I kind of feather. Yeah. Ooh, see what that does with that blue? It's pretty. What do you think? I like it. Okay. So now I am going to add. I think if I were to want to do red and oranges, I would want to do it on the top part of the horizon. Like above here? Yeah. You want to add some brights above? So before yeah, I do that. I must feel like. Keep, if we're going to stay symmetrical, keeping this color kind of here mm -hmm. and going much more brighter up here to kind of be this kind of emotionally um, depth and into then, the light. And then first, the light. let's do it. So let's go into... It's my life. Yeah, this will be great. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> and then... The cycle comes back and then, oh, <laughs> That's how I teach all my classes, in noises. Oh, I make lots of noises. This is a really pretty, do you want to go all the way Yeah, I think us? it should be the background of like, and like literally our sunrise is coming. Yes. I would call this 12th house pyramid. The 12th house, people think, oh, it's such a horrible house. But if you're born with the sun in the 12th house, like I was, I was born when the sun was rising. Mm -hmm. And that is the magic. So you're going to start from the outside of this, and you're going to go. And, what I, and I don't hit the lines, right? Or do you can. I? You can overlap the lines. Really? Yeah. Oh, because we can go over them. Yeah, because I'm going to come back here. That makes sense. Yeah. So kind of feather or just straight line it or maybe straight line and then feather? Yeah. Right? Yep. Straight line then feather. Okay. Down. Hmm. This is a thicker brush. Nice. It's it's kinda, it kind of spills kind of cool. I like it. What do you mean? I could have. Do you want more? Yeah, I need. I think we need some more. All right, it's shining. It's my secret sauce. This is the secret sauce. Yeah, I just love fluorescent colors. It just makes me feel like I turned on the batteries on my canvas. Yeah, just I like them too. Adds that extra, you know. Oh, I need to go all the way over. There you go. Nice. So now I'm going to mix it with this. And now you can feather in this fluorescent red right on top. Yeah, I'm down for the reds. <laughs> I should start in the middle here because it feels like this is the yeah energy. I like that technique. See, dude, becoming a pro, dude. And sometimes I'll even like try to soften that edge a little bit, just with my finger. Some love on it. 
Yeah. See how it helps the transition? Mm -hmm. And it helps like bring back the background to do its thing. Right, like even in here. Yeah, because I'm going to come back and let those really stand in the front. Really pretty. Like, um, yeah, let it radiate. Mm -hmm. So, you see this line, mm -hmm. you could follow it like that if you wanted to, like it's rising. Yep, almost like that. It's got a little bit of light instead of heavy right there. Mm -hmm. Like, you can still see the back. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm a very abstract person. <laughs> But I like I love the straight lines, and then if you give me a chance to be abstract, I'll be it. Go for it. That's why art is whatever you want. That's what makes it yours, not mine, and vice versa. Right. And then there's like a sense of ownership. Like, okay, I, if I could do that, then what else could I do that I haven't done in a long time, or right. that I haven't practiced at, or I've always felt like I wanted to do. I love that how it keeps on. Right, it's kind of shh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We're almost there, guys. So, I'm gonna bring this part back. To really get it to stand to the front. Let's do this one more time. So see how now it pushed all that that you went through mm -hmm. back to the back. That's what you call trees. Yeah. It's just the structure to help guide the eye. I see. I As thought I you were talking about like trees. Like marijuana trees? No. Like forest trees or something. No. I was like forest trees like no man like um bars <laughs> like bars bars <laughs> big old iron bars welcome to alien baby yeah enter we'll make them look more tree friendly that they want to know your your signs. My signs? Mm -hmm. I'm a Virgo. I don't know. You tell me about my signs. So I'm a Virgo. I haven't ran your chart yet. You haven't asked me to. I don't do it unless people ask me. Well, now I'm asking you. You asked me to paint, so I'm like, I'll paint. Okay, then you can do my chart. But then, my you know, chart. you want me to do your chart, I'll do your chart. Yeah. Well, I'm a Virgo. Um, 
What else do you need to know? Um, I was born. What's your rising sign? You don't know? I have no idea. What, is, what does rising this. sign mean? It's your outer persona. It's your identification of self. It's what also defines the ruler of your chart. It defines when you were born the horizon line. Mm. What constellation mm. was the horizon line when you were born? Mm. It also will help define, the rising sign is what helps define the whole entire chart of where the sun was when you were born as far as the understanding of where it was on the based off the horizon. Was it on the horizon? Was it on the descending mm. part of the horizon or the ascending, right where the sun ascends? Or, or while well, the planets ascend, basically? Or was it at the top of the chart, at the midheaven, at the heaven? Mm -hmm. Or was it down below at the IC, at the bottom? I know I was born in the afternoon. Okay, hold on one sec. What's your birthday? Nine seven seventy eight. What time? Around I think three o'clock. PM or AM? PM. Hmm, you might be an eighth house or but in the summer. Is it summer or fall? It's after It might be ninth house, we'll see here. Three PM. Where are we born? West Covina, California. 626? Uh, wasn't it 818 back in the day? I think it was. It ain't 626 now. Mm, yeah, I think you're right. Or, yeah. You know, we're old school. We speak in area codes. Area codes. <laughs> 714. They ran out of those, didn't they? They did. That's why they went 9 for 9. Mm-hmm. Now there's like some weird like 65... 615 or something. It was weird. I've seen that. Yeah, they, they, I think there's another one in Orange County. It's, I know LA did a 424. That's weird. There is a 626. All right, we're almost done, and then we're going to put your triangle on it. Dun, 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 rolling out the charter can. Yeah, I'm interested. Save. Save. Your Capricorn rising and your moon is in Sagittarius. Hmm. And you are a sun in the eighth house. I knew it. You knew it? Yep. Just the way your art is and your vibe and the depth and the extreme and the contrast and the. And so you were born with the moon in the 12th house in Sagittarius with Neptune conjunct in Sag in your 12th. So, but you're a Capricorn rising, so Saturn's the ruler of your chart. Your Capricorn rising is three degrees, so it's early. It was like the beginning of, of Capricorn. So you had the moon rising like this. Mm. So the moon would have been not right here. It would have been like right here mm. on the horizon when you were born. I see what that means now. So you could have seen the sun and the moon when you were born. At the born. same time? Mm -hmm. Crazy. You were born in the sun square the moon. We so call that the first quarter square of the moon. You were born in the first quarter square. A waxing moon too, not a waning. So there was a new moon about a week and a half before you were born. Mm -hmm. Or about a week yeah, about. So, about a week. So, you do have Saturn and Virgo in the eighth. That's your ruler. Saturn. You have Saturn ruler. trying to rising. That's positive and that's good. And you have no negative aspects to your Saturn at all. You have Mercury and Virgo too at zero degrees. You have Mercury conjunct Saturn though. You have Neptune opposing your sun right now. And Neptune rules your third house. This is finally the moment in your life where your voice is being heard. I feel it. But before it fully comes out, <clears throat> you are shedding off all of your own insecurities inside right now. Amen. So you can fully come out with your voice. Because you are a role model this life to people. 
but a role model of authenticity, of truth, of depth, not like a grandma role model. Even though you hold energy that could be that, you'd be like the grandma that's holding down for Guns N' Roses or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. I like that. Because I'm still a badass. Even if I'm a grandma? Mm, it doesn't mean you're a grandma. Capricorn Rising is just... Yeah, they can... Just old you know, your, 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 your ego is not your priority. Yeah. But it's kind of being forced to be made more of a priority now. Yeah, I see that. Because you tend to, one, especially that moon and the Neptune conjunct on the 12th, and the moon being the ruler of your relationships, you tend to put everything in everyone else, and that's been the problem this life. Yes. And then you get lost there, and you're trying to solve their issues instead of figuring out your own expansion mm -hmm. in your own life. Because you have the North Node in Virgo in the ninth, and South Node in, in Pisces in the, in the third. You have Chiron at nine in the fourth house in Taurus. Hmm. That's the big, the big connector here. I feel that. That ultimately. This is the last year and a half been the biggest moment of shift in your whole entire life, really, because you're feeling like you're truly finally coming out. It's true. This, the show, this, me being in front of my art versus like, look at my art. That's been such a journey. And then also realizing that it's not about painting. It's about me taking my gifts to yeah. then transfer that mm -hmm. so that other people could learn about their own personal gifts. Yeah, and I think that you in your life felt that deeply needing to secure your lock in your, your family life and your 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 whole entire foundation is so valuable to you, but it's at the same time like it's always there and you'll have a better foundation by actually expressing your gifts more than, oh, until I have my foundation the way I want to and the safety I want to and be all this, yeah. then I can do it. It's like, no, actually the, expressing yourself is what's going to create more safety and more stability in your life because emotionally, it almost, if you're not able to bring it out, there's a lot of suppression that's happened to your life of like holding all the emotion in for everyone else and doing all this stuff and yeah. trying to secure it. But actually that's creating more of the chaos and not feeling your value and then, ah. Yeah, because I've, growing up, I've always internalized mm. it and it's transpired into like Bell's palsy, mm. my hair falling out, um, eating disorders, you know, like I'm a, could be very like an emotional mm -hmm. cutter like I'll set myself up to because uh, I don't I always feel like I commit 100% but yep. even commit to the failure because mm -hmm. I don't walk out until I'm like on the ground like this right. is not for me so mm -hmm. I will now pick myself up and move on to the next but it does it it takes a few really hard hitting, like you said, that boldness. And I think you see that in my paintings is yeah. that commitment to whatever this is, I signed up for it. Right. You know, all that. But then, like you said, I've just learned the in between how to add myself to it so that I could get to know myself better to be like, I don't have to hit that hard on a low, you know, when I commit. I could right. remain steady while still exploring these spaces. But that's why I feel like that center of me is always a point where I always have to like stand back and then come back to and then recommit, reaffirm, reconnect. Yeah, I would to say for you it's about continually keeping a routine that every day keeps you on the path instead of 
getting caught up because you feel of integrity, I must do this, that's more important than the routine of my truth. Because mm -hmm. you can get caught up into this, I have to do this for this, and I have to let this go for a minute to do that, but yeah. you really don't have to. Yeah. It's a little about learning the boundaries, like, no. Nope. Actually, don't have to go that way. Mm -hmm. okay, I don't have to follow that pattern anymore. Yeah. I've already learned the lesson. Because then it kind of keeps you here, and you're not, you know, if this was a door, then you're like, wait, I actually, I'm going to leave here and come in here. When it's like, you don't need to be on either side. You can be in both. All and right. you can, if it feels like somebody's making you choose a side, you're like, I don't have to, sorry, this is the side I choose. And yeah, that's it. It's true though. Cause like with my, even with my art, I've explored so many different realms, right? Like I'm a fashion school dropout. Mm -hmm. We're going to make a triangle now. So just wanting to do everything, like my jewelry, these right. are, it's all handmade. If I couldn't buy, get diamonds, I wanted to make something dope, dope and yeah. significant and one of a kind. Um, we're going to do this so that we're starting right here, you're on the top. Heavens, right? Yeah. Closest to the top. Um, yeah, and everyone's always told me, like, well, choose one. Are you a painter? Are you a drawer? Are you do photography? Are you a stylist? Are you this? And they and they always said, choose one. I'm like, but it's all, for me, I always saw that it was all connected. Like what everything if, that yeah. I've done. What do you think? What if we went to the exact middle point? You want to hit this? Yeah, if we went. Yeah. Cause so, so we can still have something. You want it above. Well, yeah. Well, I want to, yeah, like still have some things here, but I feel like I want it to be like a, what the fuck am I coming into? Like boom, boom. Because you said kind of more prominent, bigger is going to feel closer. Mm -hmm. So I almost want to create the pyramid feeling close. That in, makes sense. Like in front, you mean? You want it to be floating in front of like a frame? I'm wondering, like maybe it could be a weird... Like it's framing it. Cause what happens if we come in like boop, boop, it's gonna become a frame. Well, what if or it stayed it on the horizon line right here? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. You wanna do that? Yeah. You want it to end like right here? Yeah, I was thinking in the middle of these two okay. trees. Trees. So let's do one, two, three, four and a half inches here. I'll do the same thing here. So you're not going to feel good about this triangle until you Of course, come it, again. we're, we're, we're oh. just, yeah, we're going to come over it. Yep. We're just defining it right now. Yep. I'm totally cool with that. Just take a breath and drag. I like how all of these shapes are coming together. Keep on standing in his shoulder. Right. You're so good with the right side. Really? Yeah. I notice that you're steadier. I'm very right brain, I guess. Yeah, let's forget. One more time. Hmm. I even see myself in the shot and then off shot and then I cover the camera here so bad. <laughs> Sorry, Craig. Nice. Look at that. What do you want to do next? You could make a reflection of it if you wanted to. But then we'll make it square. Mm. 
the next moves are yours. This is all, the structure is there, the color is there. Now that we're coming to, you know, the end of it, this is where you really put in your personality into it. Okay. What are you thinking? What color? Black first. You want a big brush or a small brush? Like a medium? A medium. I'm going to define this in the middle as the door, basically. That makes sense. I like that you defined that. Hmm? It did. It drew, it drew more of a... I'm going to come that to that last, too. And then you could actually come on the outside of this to Well, yeah, really I was going to like kind of feather it. But I'm thinking about what's going on with this. Like I almost want to take, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take it the way that it is, if that makes sense. Yeah. And right? then we just go right over the trees again one last time. Yep. Yeah. Because I feel. That you're embracing the roundness of things yes and it's kind of a portal yes. okay. it's like a portal into it because okay. even it's perfectly aligned with that mm -hmm. one couldn't plan it better and actually the way that I'm going to do this is take it and I'm going to Keep it under here so it, you know what I mean? It stays like, within. Yeah. Balance. Yeah, a lot of your other drawings are very symmetrical and asymmetrical themselves. Mm hmm. Come down on this one so it doesn't look like yeah. it's standing on one leg. Good job. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna do some. I can go. I can go a little creepy. It's your pain. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> like the creepy house. Because, because <laughs> it, I, I know, I, you know, uh, I'm going to, you know what I mean? Like, I just. Go with how you feel. Um, <clears throat> all right. At least you're laughing. <laughs> no, I know because 
I, I will openly admit that I draw, and I always have, I draw crazy creator gods. Like faces. Yeah, and I draw, I draw the, the ones that do not want to be seen. Mm. But they still, but they exist. They exist. So. They live. They live. So. So you force people to deal with it. I do. Yeah. And I always, so we're actually now going to come all the way down here. Right. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't apologize. I'm going to now need some, a smaller brush really quick, and I'm going to finish my black really quick. <coughs> this is where I go to town. Go for it. I have finally seen where I'm going with it all. Got it. Take the wheel. It's your painting. I'm just here to help guide you. Yes, you are. I like that. Interesting with the trees coming through it too. I wonder if the trees can be cut off or no. What do you mean? Like if that was to be filled in? Yeah, it's fine. Because we or, can actually come back with actually, it. Actually, I'm going to keep time. the. I'm gonna, yeah, okay, I'm going to keep it. Yeah. Um, well, it kind of looks like it's shining through like a window. Right. Yeah, because the. Uh, that could be the last thing you bring back to the front. I'm a little Pink Floyd the Wall, like the movie. The cartoony. Mm-hmm. But see, that's how we like we celebrate the things that we love. We bring it in yes. to everything we create. Not just musically, but even now visually. Speaking to you. Yes. It's saying go for it. Mm hmm. People think that's Leo, but it's really a north node here. But it's going to be. Somewhat symmetrical in a way when I fill it in. All right, now I will take a red. You ready for some brightness? I'm gonna go red. One of medium brush. Yeah, medium brush. Passion by, wait, do you need a lot that much or not? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm not afraid. Go for it. I like that. 
So for those of you at home who are painting, do what Dave just did. What? Say, I'm not afraid, and then apply. That control. Good job. So you're thinking this time around I have to be more assertive, don't question it, do stuff for myself more. Um, it's not so much assertive, you have a lot of assertive energy, it's about what you assert into. Mm -hmm. And not letting other, or especially relationships, pull you in rabbit holes and traps that you know already are and that you're like, why did I just go there? Mm -hmm. Especially where it's like, maybe this is just stimulating for me, but actually it's creating a chaotic, stimulating experience. Yeah, it's more, it creates draining energy by the time. Yes, which creates, that creates the emotional cutter energy. Yes. That's what the trigger is, is eventually, it's not immediately, it takes a while. It's eventually. Correct. Yes. So. And I have to honor my, Lessons that have already been learned. Yes. I have all these other really. I need a smaller one and to do more red real quick. Or actually we'll do, yeah, we'll do red. Thank you. Sorry. It's a really pretty green. Oh, the pretty green's coming. I just am in a, um... I can black fix that up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I usually save like the white and the black for like those last yeah. finishes. finish white and black last I'm feeling now I want to define the pyramid in a bright color mm -hmm. like the green like the teal green maybe yeah there's this one step up from that which is like that yeah that actually might work because this is already pretty dark mm -hmm. that will stand in the front yeah. and they already and they seem also related to because that way I'm gonna know what to feather with So then I don't want to start feathering until I know. I'll even make it kind of thick, I think. I like the bold. Yeah, me too. No. Sorry. No. I'll fix that. Hmm. It kind of gives me an idea for the um, feathering, actually. Mess ups can teach you, right? Yep. Bob Rosso is made. Happy trees with birds out of them. 
Oh, didn't he? Yeah. Now I'm going to... I would say a medium and what other colors do we have here? We have the yellow. We have this. We have the yellow. Jello. Jello. Yeah. I just want to kind of test this out because I'm going to make big pharaoh wings mm. at the top of this. Wanted to see what it would look like with that color and then all. All right, so now I know what to do. We can keep that and I'll take the smaller one in black. But I think I can go. I, I think I know what I'm doing here. I almost want to go to the tree line. I'm going to cut from the That's on it's right here. Yeah. Um, like it never happened. Right. All right, now, or well, let me just add a little more here just to know my zone. All right, <laughs> you knew exactly where I was going. Yep, oh, you knew exactly where I was going. Right at the top. What's really great about, you know, painting with the space of like you're working out your thoughts, like this will always become a constant reminder of that space. You know, mm. that feeling, that energy. It's like a porthole, like a time machine. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna feather the colors and stuff. I just, 
wanted to get this as yeah, the main base. It's a nice base. Something's gonna go on up there. Really cool. It's gonna look cool. What's next? Lighter. Yeah, we should do some of that. Put a gradient up. Mm-hmm. Nick, what I want to do actually is how I kind of went like this. Now I kind of want to kind of have a glow a little mm. bit. That makes sense. Outside of it. Yep. Like. Yeah. Exactly. Like. Like you know, like. We can do the red after. Uh huh. I'm gonna say like the red, yeah, will will come in really nice. I like that this is structured and this is nature. It's very like reflective. I'm gonna keep this dark up here. You wanna keep it dark? Yeah. I'm gonna wipe it off. I did the old school. Yeah. Like it never happened. Yeah. And then we could come back. Yeah. I think the red's gonna be the right feather like right because this is just kind of yeah it's that mid it's the mid flame and then the red is the flame gotcha that's why we just use the same brush because it's gonna mix anyway hmm mm-hmm Like I always feel when I'm mixing colors, when I'm going through transition, mm -hmm. like the spaces when it's like not definitively like become something that that's, I feel like those are my midpoints. Mm. Like right here is where I'm at right now before I'm definitively there. That makes sense. You can, you can see it. You could see it as well as feeling it. Like, oh, I'm just midway through. So that mixture feather in the middle of it becoming something else. Right. And I think that's what a lot of people have to understand with change. It's not, there's a, that gap in the middle. Right. There's all that before it became that. Boop. Right. And that's when it gets wishy-washy. And then when you're doing all this amazing stuff, then we could just get these to come one last time if you wanted to. No, definitely. They're going to be, the front. yeah, so it pulls that back. Mm-hmm. You see, you know what's going on? Yeah, there's only a couple other things I'm going to do here, and then I don't want to do too much, you know? Yeah, what are you feeling next? I feel like I need the black one more time. 
and a small. Still keep the tree in the front. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think how. is going to go. Hmm. Um, I'm over this too. now. Mm. It looks like it's holding up the light, right? The darkness. Mm -hmm. It's holding up. But I really want to do now is I want to fill in some other color up here in the yellow. Like, we've already used red and orange, so it's almost like. Want something bright, though? Yeah. Because. Yes. All day? All day. Want a medium? Fresh or a small? A small, please. Thing go over and then go take the black at the very end. Mm -hmm. 
because yeah, I almost want to like um, I shouldn't have done it from there, but it's just stayed from here, right? Yeah, and I could go over the black since you already made it. Right. I could go over the black, all the black that you did, to just. Right. Reiterate it, right? Right. First, it's a suggestion. Second, it's a statement. Right. And third, it's the it is what it is. Boom. Right. At least I feel now better up top. Yeah. I think, and you'll feel better too once this gets darkened and balanced, yeah. like the other side. These really pretty colors already. Starting to form. Mm -hmm. People still watching? Mm -hmm. They think I'm crazy yet? <laughs> like what the what the hell is this guy drawing? <laughs> I'm gonna give him the big bang here in a minute. Right. I just want to get this thing done. Yeah, yeah. and then I'll I could re put all of your black back in. Right on the screen. Is it? It's pretty cre creepy, crazy. We are. I've learned to really live with the word crazy. Because actually, that gave me the ticket to then be unconventional. You know, like Kim's crazy. I used to be like, no, I'm not. Finally, I just be like, yes, I am. That means I. There are no rules. None. Which is also scary. But why not? Yeah, I feel like that top now is That's good. Now I could just, do you want me to just sharpen it? Yeah, sharpen it for a second Let's while I kind of yeah, think like, about what I'm going to do next yeah. in this final closure. Okay. So what I usually also explain to my students, this won't feel like it's finished until we really get to these definitive lines. So I will do this. Bring this black back to the top. Almost a little heart shaped coming out. Mm-hmm. You did a really good job as far as like just freehanding it on this side and that side it became really symmetrical. So do you want me to come back with these? Yeah.
They just add the contrast to kind of. I like mixing natural, like aesthetic with structured aesthetic. Do you want to bring the trees to the front? Um, or are you still going to work on it? So I want to fill in these with that. That will pop out with the red and the black. I'm trying to think. That's going to be hard. Can we do it? Yeah. Well, what, just inside? Well, no, I'm trying to think what color would pop. Oh. Like a white or a... White would look good. I think white would help really balance yeah, it because of yeah, this. Mm -hmm. Those are the teeth. Nice. Yeah, because life feels like it takes a bite out of you. You want this, right? Mm hmm. There she is. Now you can see her. Did she appear? She, she, she's appearing. You showed her face. She's now revealed. That's crazy though, because I say that with my paintings. Like, oh, there she is when I see her face. Mm hmm Like she shows up. Because you intended her to. She finds a way. Ooh. And then the eyes. I was going to say that maybe on the outside, right? Like, or in the inside. The inside of the eye? Of the or on the out, yeah, that's what I'm wondering is if, um. Like the. What if, what if we went outside? I kind of like a black with red in mm -hmm. and a white out. Let me copy to trace the trace the black the black on the outside on of it. On the outside, yeah. Yeah. Kind of help with the contrast that too. Pop. Yeah, it lets her eyes be seen more. Oh, and they yeah. and they don't actually you'd think it make her look more mean, but actually it actually kinda lightens her eyes up a little bit. In my eyes. Mm-hmm. Now, if, can I try in here? Yeah. I'm gonna try this part right here. Yes, it is. This is what's going to get tricky in here. Is. Mm hmm. I like that. You know what? I'm going to just fill it in. Kind of hard to do that eye. Actually, I'm going to get rid of her eye because mm -hmm. it's too small of a space. And fill that in with something else. This is going to be the third eye. Now that it's dry. Middle. Yeah, it's dry now. And I think doing the outline in white 
make it a lot easier. I'm going to do uh, this color mm. with a yellow eye ball. ball. Yeah, so you could color it all white so that it stands in front of it. Yeah. Like this all white? Mm-hmm. Because if you want the middle. Like this? Like the, yeah. yeah. I see what you mean. Okay. Because you see how, like, you need the white for the yellow. To right. Stand in front. So you want yellow? Yes. Can you, can you, can you wash that? Is that how you do it? You just go. Psh, psh, psh. Okay. And then the blue is going to be on the outside, right? Mm-hmm. Or should I fill in that whole thing yellow? I think you should do the whole thing yellow, and then when you come with the blue, you could shape it. So like that, like, mm -hmm. like, and come back when it dries and put another mm -hmm. thing yellow. Yeah. Do you want this blue? Yeah. Different. I can take black and trace it. Mm hmm. Just have to figure out the top now. To put purple back on top to really reiterate that dome part. In the triangle, there's a light purple one that you use, and then there's this darker one. I feel like the light, since we've got kind of a dark purple here, mm -hmm. and a lighter up here. Yeah, that'd be pretty. Right? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to fill in just that whole top yeah. and keep the black line as the, to keep the arch. This, the arch. Yeah. And then. Fill that then, and my end is in the middle. And then we get to name her. Yeah, I already. I don't say. I don't think I have a name yet, but I already. Oh yeah. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. You really did compliment that orange, too. I know. It did, um, wake it up. Mm-hmm. You really like that point that you wanted to emphasize drawing up? Yeah, and I almost feel like it doesn't need to be solid, either. I feel like it could be, like, a feathered, like, uh, that uh, that darker purple kind of... Yeah. Right? Yeah. Is it okay with... Yeah. Oops. Oh. Wipe some of this off, so... It okay, yeah, yeah. Really drag too much, but since it's the same familia... Got you. So same familia is okay. Yeah. But um. Stabine. But um. Yeah, or 
us it'll counsel each other out. Nice, because it does feel like it's coming in from back there, back mm -hmm. out too. Push back out and then to the front. He's in the black really quick. Yeah. You feeling good? Yeah, I feel good. Good. That's number one. Still one thing missing up there in that top. Right here? Mm-hmm. I think you should put your, you know what I do? Hmm. I like to solidify like roundness. You know what I did most of the circles with? Right. My fingerprint. So I went like this and then I went right to the middle. Hmm. And I'll actually put like my thumbprint or fingerprint like right. So whatever color you want, there you go. But then push it on here. So then you could get like that. Yeah. Take some of that goop on top. There we mm -hmm, go. Make sure it's more centered. Got gotcha. you. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, that was cool. Like you're putting like, you know, a piece of your know, mark on it. Besides all the other stuff. Yeah. So there's this this final. Final final. Yeah. Um, could interpret. I wanted to just kind of define this better again. Yeah. And find that right there. And. You gotta look at it from a distance too. Wanna bring those trees to the front and see what it does? Yeah. And then you'll really see how the energy is flowing. Yeah, because I have one idea for the end. I gotta think of the middle, there's just one. One thing I gotta think about there. Bring this first and then I'll go really white. Then you really see it. I know what I'm gonna put in the middle. And it's round. Ooh, rounded. I'm gonna put the glyph of earth, which is just a circle with a cross exactly symmetrical cross, not like a Christian cross where it's like it, but like just mm -hmm. because walking into earth, you go through this portal and it eats you into earth. <laughs> it eats you into it? Yes. Like you're assigned for this just, human I, existence? Correct. It's but super hard. There is a, I think what I'm going to try to help people understand about entering into earth is that sure there's God, but mm -hmm. there are other elements, portals in to earth. We all have our own unique portals in. Mm -hmm. Some people come in through a badass, intense, fiery 
edgy place. Some people come in down different ones and there are different ways to enter. Well, as I say, dimensional higher creator gods that have their own entryways in mm -hmm. that they build. Are they having human experiences too? Um, they are eating human energy, mm. so they survive. That's the offering from God to them. Mm. We are the ones that are the offering. We are the offering. That's scary. Yeah. It's actually not scary when you think of it theoretically, but um, this is what I saw when I entered this reality, but I don't know if I want to add it because you actually couldn't see it, but when you come through the portals into this reality, there are, you can't even say the number of souls that are waiting in lines to try and get through these portals. Mm -hmm. And they all where these trees are, they're all waiting. And to get through, it's only like one at a time, and it's like, you have to wait mm -hmm. until the moment. Then it's like allowed in, right? But I was ushered in quick, and everybody was pissed, because mm -hmm. they, felt, they felt like I cut the line. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that everybody's unique portal that comes in is unique how that's unique to me even with my own fingerprint or signature and you know it's like that saying uh, different monster same beast mm -hmm. right we all have different monsters but like our goal is always like that same is like that enlightenment love happiness you still got the black yeah one that is smaller yeah i think what i'm going to do to contrast this thing the right way since you've now done the trees the right way is to just on the inside here. I just solidified it. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. And then that means I'm going to solidify it here. Yep. Balance. I liked how you did it because I imagined it but I also wanted you to find I found I found, I found it good job on my own sure did now this is the final spot the center are we going back to our center
You're smiling. I'm ready for her tongue to come out. From here? I was thinking of painting this red. Mm. Or we can make it more abstract and, make, and spill in the red to here. So it's like mm -hmm. a, how it transfers. Right. It's not like a literal right. thing. It's something that spills and creeps in. And also goes back in. Mm -hmm. Either way, is she really, are you really going in or are you really, is she really spewing out? Yep. Because it could also be a constant flow of back and forth. Yeah. something smaller than that? I think for right here, it's going to be fine. I mean, it, um, I should have waited until that black dried. I could come back and fix it. I know, I know. What you want. So, to kind of do it, I just kind of... Mm-hmm. But feather it, go... Like, flick it. Yep. Because we almost don't want too much, but just a tad. Bring it up a little bit. Here's some yeah. And I'll use this lighter one. Like This is going to really light. Kind of cool that color actually. It's a mixture. I think the only thing that you're not gonna like, don't like about it, is just the top, and it's just gonna take that black just to go, just to mm -hmm. see because it got a little bit off. Mm -hmm. I think you're gonna like it once you bring back that dome part of it. Yeah, and I feel like the yellow just needs to be in a little more. More yellow. Yeah, because that was just the big, the one round. Yeah. And before the black goes. This. Yeah. You want yellow on that? Yeah, and just stay yellow. Jello? Jello? Jello?
Yeah, because we could go to the last trees again one last time. Mm hmm. The black. Yeah, because I think this is a little more refined. There it is. There it is. Oh. Oh, there's one last thing I wanted to do. I mean the cross. Yeah, but it almost creates a distraction. You don't like it? I can get rid of it. You want to get rid of it? Yeah. I just wanted to see. Sometimes you just have to just boldly go where no one goes. And it ruins the um I wanted yeah, I wanted some sort of kind of edge in that area anyway, so actually adding a little black in there kind of worked out. You know what it I mean? never happened. I, think I kind of wanted that. To break it up a little bit, make it feel like this. Yeah. So the last thing I was going to do was I was going to take a medium brush. Mm -hmm. Or actually a small, we'll do the small one because I want to do this really light is I was gonna feather this light purple like kinda like that. On the outside. So it's kind to of like it. just kind of like a so it's adding a little glow on the top. You know what I mean? Like yeah. a, just from this side and just like a little like like how you were doing down there, like mm -hmm. just, just like and there's this area that needs covering. Actually, I can even do this whole like glow. It's shining. Yeah. Is this what the inside of your head looks like? Is that what you're inviting people in? The inside of my head? <laughs> it's actually way crazier. I was like, I don't know how I would draw it that crazy. But it came to get everything you brought in was actually ended up structured because you would start you started over here and then you actually went like this and then to here and it ended up to be structured. Yeah, I have one line. You didn't I'm... intend it. Because um. the last thing you're going to do you're gonna sign it right here. Right. Yep. And I actually have a good pen for that. I like that. I must don't want too much. I was starting to feel like over there was all like nice and um, there we are. Good. I was gonna add one last thing, and that's it for Go real. For it. It's over, folks. This is the last thing I'm adding. Kind of throws everything at black. I need black in this in this guy. The middle, this one. Mm hmm. No, we're done in the middle. We're done. We are going to add. <laughs> I'm 
my creepiness. I'm going to have to wait for that to dry for a second. Yeah. Tell me, Mary, you want me to make this feel a little more flowy into here? Yeah, I'm I feel like... Make, um, I'm just going to have it seep in from that edge a little bit more. Let's see. I like this. Get it to pop out like it's coming like this. Mm-hmm. Like it's going... So I just let it come from that side. Hmm. What are you thinking? There's that red. White. And then one more thing of red. So this little small guy in white. Okay. Oh, you got two of those little guys. Oh, yeah. Paired. And then black. The last one. And then, then red. Red? You want the medium or small? Small. Por favor. Because you know that there's always other eyes that are still watching. And life. Mm -hmm. You don't, it's like you don't know if they're eyes or not. You know that they are. Unless. So that's why I like to draw people in. And yeah. I'm like, okay, if there's eyes here, maybe those are. I know. I 
think I know how to fix this. that mixture of white and mm -hmm. red. Got some black? Yeah, I'm probably going to need this to dry for a second. You know, the black outline, I can just finish that, and I'm going to do a black eyeball anyway. I mean, black's such a dominant color, but it can still their colors can still grab on a black and mm -hmm. mess with it. It's kind of cool because it kind of makes it make kind of makes it feel like the whites of an a, a, like a bloodshot eye. Mm -hmm. Oh, the black. I like, and I have black on my hands, it's kind of adding that. But I'll go over that with red one more time and then black, and that's it. So do I. We'll have to wait for it to dry for the black because it'll just dry. not define it. All right, honey. Well, I think for the name. Well, I feel good about her. You gotta look at her from a distance. Take a look. That was a blank black canvas when we started. Yeah. We allowed all these beautiful colors to keep creep in. And like you went really natural and then structured on top. But I mean, I'm really proud of you for just going for it too when I let you take the wheel. And you seem much more relaxed than you did when we started too. Very true. Her name.
Malifica. Malifica? Malifica. With an F? Mm-hmm. Like Malefic? Like Malefic scent from, like, from uh, Disney? Well, Malefic in astrology is the harder planets of Mars and Saturn. Malefic energy is the harsher energy, and then benefic is beneficial. Mm. So I'm calling her Malefica. She was going to be Bertha at first. Like Bertha? Like Big Bertha. Tell him Large Marge <laughs> sent you. But she's Malefica. Oh, well, she's showing you her Actually, face. she's Big Bertha Malefica. BBM. BBM. <laughs> <laughs> she's not an SS BBM. <laughs> People know porn terms. Um, BBM. <laughs> BBM, but yeah, Big Bertha <laughs> Malefica. Yeah. All right. She's bold. Oh yeah, she's bold. But the crown that she wears is masculine. Hard. That is hidden. Stern. It's the flop. Whereas the feminine has always been the one that has been the one that's been the black and the one holding the space together and kind of always looked at as the dark one. Whereas you think this is the dark one when really the dark one is this higher order that is more hidden mm. within the crown she wears with its eyes in controlling. Because it would never be obvious. No. It has to be hidden. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I almost feel like if I could just take a little white and do like a little your final finals? That's my final finals because then that adds that you can still see the light. Well, yeah, and that it's a pretty over controlled masculine force to using this feminine to bring things in. Mm -hmm. Like, I almost feel like you just. No, I thought that kind of. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Like restlessness. Uh huh. Like on Tom and Jerry when they used to show yeah. Jerry's eyes after he can't sleep. Uh huh. Exactly. I like that. We created that. Pointing the energy towards it. Yeah. See, but you have, an, you, you have an understanding on how visual arts work, right? So what we did from the beginning was create, even with the darker colors, a vignette of showing mm -hmm. this is, is the center. Everything is coming from here, whether it's coming like this or coming like this or downwards. This is the energy that we created. Right. Towards the center. And maybe that's what's coming through. All these things come into our life, but it's always about focusing on what's the core of us, like that center. The center. Do you want to do that one more time? Your thumb? Maybe with... A lighter color? Well, I think we should go with the, my favorite color.
cool. That's it. That's it. Now you gotta sign it. When you sign it, it means it's done. You ready? Yeah, and actually it's like a... Can you put your name right there? It's legit! Should we do it together? Over yeah, here? put your thumb on it. Paint, paint buddies for life? Yeah. Always connected through this painting. Boop! <laughs> we should do one like right here, like that combines it together. Oh, Craig should. Craig's the saw. Oh, the two together? Yeah, just like Can we give with you whatever paint? is light. Yeah. And then like, you know, like together? Mm-hmm. Connected. Yep. Dope. How do you feel? Feel great. Create something out of nothing. Something that reflects nature and all those other spaces that we like to talk about. And it is. We didn't know what this really was gonna become mm -mm. when we started. And that's the truth. But I like that this you is like e open one of up. Eve's like twelfth cousins. <laughs> <laughs> like distant. Really distant. Relative. See? Like you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I didn't was. even realize that till we were done. I was like, oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you for participating. No, I mean, you taught me so much about depth and structure and how to create depth mm -hmm. and how to create the right kind of symmetric form and balance, balance, contrast, mm -hmm. and how to take something that seems dark and help let allow that to frame. Right all the other gifts like we said we said there's that spectrum of black and there's right. a spectrum of white in this space we celebrate everything in between so when you talk about there's an art to life and how i like to translate that is like we're talking about when change happens it doesn't happen quickly there's all that in between that right. transpires before we come to this definitive right. space right there was a lot of that build up of, hmm, I don't know, and we kind of worked it, and then we covered it up, and then we came back. But that's the same thing with life. Yeah. You know? Nothing, everything is always evolving, changing, and that's why we see a lot of these things spill in. Whether we intend it or not, it's right. part of nature. And I think that's what you were reiterating with these things, is like to learn to live with the storms, learn to live yeah. with the monsters, learn to live with your own inner monsters, learn to find beauty in it. And is it even really a it. monster? And if, do you even know what the real monster might be? Yeah, don't focus. Mm -hmm. You might be not seeing the bigger right. vision of it. And that's why like and even in our, in this like is this. Everybody thinks Illuminati and all this stuff with Pyramid or even what's going on with Trump or what's going on with all this. There is a force behind it. Behind right all of it someone else's story there's another story behind the one we're being told in both sides of the aisle yeah always is and mm -hmm. that's what people don't see they're focused on that yep. and they're not looking at that you're demonizing this person always in life mm -hmm. when really this could even be your own subconscious mm -hmm. and that's interesting that. that's like is the story of you said when you called her malif Malefica. Malefica. I thought of Maleficent, like mm -hmm. from Disney. Right. And the first story I ever heard of her, she was just this evil witch. But like then seeing the pre-story, right. it's like she was actually this beautiful creature then was just hurt so bad. Now she has these thorns to protect something that she gave so freely. But... Yeah, and there's a bigger picture though that mm -hmm. that she gets sucked into and she does she forgets right her true meaning of how she arrived on mm -hmm. this in this on earth. Yeah. Yeah. Rad. Mind blown. Mind blown. <laughs>
Good job. All right, make sure that you guys check out Kim. She's got an awesome series teaching you how to do this in other forms. We've had. Oh yeah, and tonight uh, we just released this painting. Oh, very nice. On there's an art to life. Uh, yeah. So it's under free content on there's an art to life. Highvibe.tv or mm -hmm. on the apps on Roku. Yep. Apple TV, iOS, and Android, and just go to HiVibe.tv. Yeah. Uh, on your mobile phone or computer. Yeah. And if you guys are local in the Orange County area, I will be teaching this at the local lounge in La Mirada. Um, that includes also wine and beer. But you're going to have to DM me because seats fill up quick. If you want to Well, yeah, and we'll tease yeah. that we're figuring out an event here. We are. With, with Kim going to be doing painting, I'm going to be doing an astrology thing, I'm working with someone else. We, we, there's a lot of weird, cr like, good stuff. Yeah, and we're hoping, like, Dylan and Sarah and everybody like, that you love. There's a lot going on. Yeah. So, I can't wait. To be here at the studios with us. So. Yeah, it's going to be ex something exciting to look forward to. Well, thank you. I'd love a hug. Cause... Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for everyone to see this also up close I know. in all his glory. And I hope that it also becomes like a really nice time machine for you. So every time you see it or you remember it, it brings you back to a space in which you, you know that you started kind of like really exhausted in, you know, your space and then you were able to do this and relax. So that yeah. hopefully it relaxes you every time you see it. It makes you feel proud because I think you should be Totally proud of totally. yourself. You're a natural artist, man. And it takes doing it to figure that out. So I always encourage everybody at home yeah. to please do. Um, creative space is a safe place. Just trust the process and live and learn. That's all we could do, Boom. right? Yeah. Thank you, Kim. Thank, Thank you, everyone. You. Love you all very much. Thanks, Thank everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you join High Vibe. Check us out, highvibe.tv. Bye, everyone.